A friend sent me an email a little while ago, and it contained a quote from Ellen Goodman, who wrote a newspaper column in January. And part of the quote states, We spend January 1st walking through our lives, room by room, drawing up a list of work to be done, cracks to be patched. But maybe this year we could balance that list. We ought to walk through the rooms of our lives and not looking for flaws, but looking for potential. I think this quote can apply to any one of the months of the year, and I think it's very pertinent to the whole being of Character Counts. We should always look for the potential in ourselves and in others. This is a good way to practice our character and also be a positive role model. By looking for that potential, we're respecting ourselves and our abilities. This helps to make us feel better about ourselves. And if we feel good about ourselves, then it's much easier for us to see potential in others, adults as well as young people. In looking for that potential, we can support our children and youth in a loving, caring, attentive manner. You can become an asset builder, which leads to recognizing that potential or that spark, that something that makes you unique and special. Character Counts in Queen Anne's County entwines the essence of asset building in everything that we do in our volunteers as character coaches and as community mentors and in our training in the very way that we think about how we're going to present on our six pillars. The asset building comes from the Search Institute. If you're interested in finding out more about them, and just Google Search Institute and you'll find out a lot of great information. Supporting a child or a youth in recognizing their potential is a big part of asset building, and it is certainly a cornerstone of building those trusting and caring relationships, which are so important for all of us. Relationships are key in building the bonds that we forge with one another, whether we be adults or children and youth. In building those relationships, we need to be non-judgmental. We need to be good listeners. Sometimes it's just important just to be there. We need to have lots of patience. We need to be encouragers and helpers as well. Support can be as simple as just smiling at someone, waving hello, remembering a person's name, asking them about something that they enjoyed doing, maybe remembering a special pastime that they happened to uh, confide in you about. So remember, smile, wave, believe in your own potential and in the potential of others. Those six pillars of character, trustworthiness, respect, fairness, caring, responsibility, and citizenship are to be practiced on a daily basis. That's the way they work, not only for others, but for yourself as well. So exercise your character, feel good about yourself, and you may just find out something about a potential you didn't realize you had. I hope you have a great day. This is Jackie Carter, who is the Character Counts Coordinator uh, for this county. Have a great day.